Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Yopskurenjo PD and welcome to my channel. So for today what you are going to see is Get Even. Get Even was developed by the Farm 51 and it's using Unreal Engine 3, which is a thing that we, when I saw that I thought, okay, so great, this game is going to run great, it uses Unreal Engine 3. I'm tired of having games running bad on Unreal Engine 4 because it's much more demanding, obviously, than Unreal Engine 3. But as you can see, what I have here, it's pretty much the graphics on the minimum. I actually enabled some anti-aliasing now. This is not the minimum, you can go to very low if you want. But I mean, the low settings are fine. With the exception of some sequences on this game. I mean, this is my main problem with this game. The game is run, is running now around or close to 30 FPS's. But keep in mind that OBS uh, consumes 3 to 5 FPS's. So we got now a big bunch of sunstring by now, which is quite bad. And the, uh, we are running now at 15 frames per second. So, and yeah, even 11 due to the sunstring. So this is not great. And even if you put the game at the absolute minimum, it barely changes. Also, there is these little textures in here, which doesn't seem to load. Or they are actually like this, I don't know. But yeah, this game on normal environments of this game, which is inside buildings, it runs absolutely fine at around 30, sometimes even a little bit better, okay? But as soon as you reach places like this, garden, with uh, full of foliage, rain, and some post-processing, no matter what settings you go, the game will just run below the 20s, uh, 15s, and something, so it's not really playable at these environments. I don't know too much about what style of the, the game that it is. I don't know what are what environments are present on the next levels and if you require to shoot a lot or not, just like I'm trying to do in here. I'm not really sure if you re if you are required to kill people like you are playing Call of Duty or not. But imagining that there are going to be environments like Garden where you need to shoot uh, like five to six soldiers in a very fast paced way. This is not going to be easy or playable at all, if that is necessary. Although, if on the Gardens you don't need to do much of the things and if, you are, if the action moments of the game are set inside the buildings, then you are fine because as you can see it's running around at 30s. 40s and you actually need to take in mind keep in mind that the OBS consumes 3 to 5 FPS so it, it would be running even better on your laptop so keep that in mind okay but yeah the, the game performance is very inconsistent in this regard so yeah as soon as I step out outside the building the frame rate just just goes to these values which is very disappointing I know uh, another big warning is about the RAM usage. As you can see, the game is using almost 7 gigabytes of RAM for me. So, for me, it, the absolute minimum for this game is 8 gigabytes of RAM. Don't try the game if you have 6 or 4. I don't think that um, you should do it because, as you can see, the game is using really a ton of RAM. So, probably if you have 6 gigabytes or 4, you are just going to receive a big, 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 big amount of stuntering. So, keep that in mind, okay? So with that, I'm going to let you enjoy uh, the rest of the gameplay, I hope you enjoy it, and if you want to check the results for different settings, it's on the description of the video, okay, so check it out. We thank a lot for watching, and hope to see you soon. Goodbye. DNA found. Female. 18 to 22 years of age. Where'd they take her? Thank you. 
Cigarette. Partial fingerprint found. No matches in biometric database. ballistic evidence. Weapon recognized. Semi-automatic pistol. Why's the bomb armed? Where the fuck is Mike? He's probably on his phone. Fucking typical. Find him. All right. Who's that? Take him out. Stay, stay away from me. Is it off? Oh my God! It's gonna go off. You've got to help me. Do that for me. I'm gonna get you out of here. I heard the code. 
It's three, zero, zero, one. I'm sure of it. Please, please. <laughs> Hello boys and girls, welcome to the performance section of the video. So as you can see, I tried out multiple settings. I tried the high, the median, the low, which was what we used on the video and 720p minimum. This is the absolute minimum and curiously, uh, on the, the settings where the game was supposed to run faster, I got a little bit more stuttering than on the others. This is actually pretty strange. I got a minimum frame of 5. This was when I opened the door to the garden, to the garden at the very beginning, but aside from that the game was running a little bit better. I recommend it to go with the low settings because it averages around the 30s, while the median, you know, it's, it's a little bit strange. I will show you the consistency because it's much more easier to explain why I decided to go with the low. So when you look to the consistency, you can see that on the eye settings, 44% of the frames was lower than the 30 FPS's, while the median was 39. Although the low settings, it was just 27%, not just, I would prefer to be 0, of course. And the 720p minimum, uh, the downgrade is a little bit big for the small improvement. So, looking to the consistency on the 25 FPS, uh, it keeps the things a little bit more closer. So it means that uh, the game was lower than 25 FPS on most of the settings, pretty much on the same place, which was the garden. And let's check now about the consistency of the 20 FPS's. And there you go, all of them very similar, with the exception for the 720p minimum, which delivers a little bit better. So, bottom of the line, you can choose whatever the settings that you want, but for me, both settings or 720p with the minimum probably are the best choices uh, in order to play this game, at least trying to above the 30 FPS's. But you are already warned. Outside, on the garden or on the garden environment, the frame rate might be a little bit bad. Anyway, for me, low settings is the way to go. The low settings used 1.6 GB of VRAM. For the RAM usage, it used 6.5 for me without recording. So I fully recommend you to have at least 8 GB to play this game. CPU usage was a little bit high sometimes, between the 40s and the 85%. But cheap usage was always at 99% without any bottlenecks, so if we have to put any responsibility on the bad performance, we can put it on the graphic card and of course on the developers of the game for making the garden environment very, very, very demanding, okay? So this concludes my performance analysis of the first level of Get Even, hope you did enjoy the video. If you want to support the channel in order to keep uh, benchmarking more games or multiplayer games that uh, requires a bunch of money, uh, just support the channel. You can support it via Patreon, PayPal donations or Kingwin. You can check it on the description of the video, okay? And if you have any doubt, don't be afraid of leaving a comment, okay? So thank a lot for watching and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye.